I did the test twice guys, okay? I did the test twice even though I was in university. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nani back again with another video. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be part two of how to apply to medicine in Bulgaria, specifically Varna Medical University. If you have not watched the first part of this video, I implore you to go ahead and watch that video. So this is going to be part two and we are going to go into entry tests. In order for you to apply to medicine in Bulgaria, you need to be able to pass the entry test. So that's what this video is going to be about. First thing we're going to cover is uh, when does it take place? When do you have to sit for this entrance exam? The general information about the exam, how to prepare for the entry test, and we'll finish off with how to register for the entry test. Uh, when do you have to do the entry test? Usually people do the entry test in the summer following the year that they're going to be admitted. The entry test is usually from July to September, to, to September. but what I have here, you know, well, the time I did the entry test was like, I think in July, I took the entry test in uh, August, something like that. Uh, they have here on the website, it shows April 1st, 2023, that's when they had the, uh, the first entry test. May 11th, June 17th, July 22nd, September 5th, okay? So those were the dates they had for the entry test for those students that are starting uh, medical school. Uh, this October literally like this week so you can go on the website or you can email the admission team I will put their email on the screen and in my description box you can email them and ask them which are the date available for me to apply for the entry test do you have it or you can ask them are there uh, which dates are available for the entry test for the year 2024 and they will let you know and I think these dates will not change I think maybe it will be the same for 2024 1st of April, 11th of May, 17th of July, uh, uh, 17th of June, sorry, 22nd of July, and 5th of September, 2024. But you need to confirm it with them, okay? Now, going into general information, the requirements for the programs in medicine, dental medicine, um, dental medicine and pharmacy in English for the 2023 admission test in chemistry and biology will consist of five sections. Here are the five sections that you would need. Section A, multiple choice questions. Four proposed answers will be given for each question as candidates should mark only one answer. Make sure you read these guys. Okay, so you can go on the website and read this. I'm just going to read the heading. So five sections. Section A, multiple choice question. Section B, gap filling questions. Section 7, matching matching questions. Seven D, uh, oh, seven. <laughs> Section D, true and false questions. Section E, definitions and explanation. Some of you will be asking, okay, so how long does each test take? For each test, it takes one hour and 30 minutes. So in biology, you'll be sitting that exam for one hour and 30 minutes. Chemistry, one hour and 30 minutes. You honestly don't need to take that long. It's going to be, you're most likely going to use 45 minutes or like, maximum an hour and both tests are conducted in the same date okay so you will sit this test in the same day you're not going to sit chemistry and biology on different dates it's going to be one day or that and then you choose that you want to go on the 17th of june for example if you go on the 17th of june you need to be aware that you're taking this test but you're taking both tests on that day you're taking biology and chemistry at the same time and it's one after the other of course i think you do get a break in between if i'm not mistaken i can't quite remember guys it's like it was like almost six years ago um and yeah so each test is one hour and 30 minutes and just make sure that you study for both tests at the same time because you're going to take the exam on the same day on the same day okay <laughs> now the next thing is how to prepare for the entry test now they have the links here which you guys can see on the screen i'll put it here they have the handbook of biology and chemistry test items 2022 they have you can order the ebook in chemistry and biology they have a link i can click on the first link and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like and it's only 10 euros and that's about 20 lever okay so that's that 
and then the next thing is i'm back i'm sorry if the setting is a bit different but my sd card was full i was talking about how to prepare for the entry test you can order the handbook of biology and chemistry okay and you can you have the option of having an ebook or you have you can have it printed okay so if you want an ebook you click on that link and then you scroll down okay you see how it looks like and it's only 10 euros the next thing is if you want the uh, handbook printed the printed version of the handbook then you click on the second link the price for the printed version is 18 euros okay 18 euros so not expensive because if you were to go through an agency guys you're gonna pay a lot of money it's actually okay for you to apply by yourself the only difficult thing will be translation of documents and yeah the only thing will be translation of documents and you need to find someone in your home country that can translate and legalize your certificate legalize your 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 how do you call it your passport um yeah so that i think that is the only hard thing about the application process and that is the only expensive thing about the application process okay if you want to use a textbook to prepare which i believe you don't need you only you honestly just need to go on youtube if you go on youtube you can learn chemistry and biology from uh, many teachers on on youtube okay but if you want to buy the book they have the, an ebook and they also have a printed uh, version okay you can click on the link and this is what it looks like 10 euros again for the ebook and for the printed version 22 uh for the printed version is going to be 22 euros in for the chemistry book one good thing about my university is that they have sample tests available for you okay they have a sample test in chemistry click on that sample test is gonna come up these are the questions okay you can practice using this and i'm telling you the format of the exam the entry test is going to be similar it's going to be literally similar like the same style of questions okay and then you have the answers okay and you have the answers so you can learn with these you can practice with these so that you're prepared and it's the same thing for biology you have the questions available there okay and the answers there you go and it shows you how to answer you know how much you need to write not much really so okay so that's that for uh for uh how to prepare for the entry test so now the next thing we're going to talk about is how to register for the entry test and they say applicants who are in their last year of high school and who have studied biology and chemistry subjects on secondary school level are also eligible to seek the entry test even before obtaining their leaving certificates for example if you were in year 12 college okay and because the results for a levels come out in like what august and let's say you chose to apply in july to get into medicine in bulgaria and your results have not come out yet so you can still be able to apply even if you don't have your final results the only thing is that once your results are released and then you need to submit it to the online application okay once you have your results you submit it to the online application the thing they say is only applicants whose E applications got the status successfully registered will be allowed to seek the entry test. Applicants with the status pending validation incomplete or draft will not be allowed to write the entry test. The online application system for 2023 fall entry will open in February 2023. So the application process is usually open in February. You can prepare yourself for February of next year if you're thinking of uh, applying to uh, Varna Medical University. So you have all the documents that I've talked about in the previous video. Make sure you already start, you know, practicing maybe the questions and everything. Start studying and, and then they have a link, okay? Access the online platform for submission of your e-application simply click on the following link and register now they have that here i just click on that oh it's not letting me click on it i think on your computer though it might work i don't know why it's not letting me go on the on the e-application but maybe because only opens in february of course that makes sense yeah what was i thinking yeah so in february when you click on that link 
it will work so it will work and it will take you to the application process and you can start completing your details okay the instituted application fee amounts to 230 euros and this is non-refundable so basically if you were to apply and then you got rejected or your application is still pending because you you missed some documents they cannot refund you this money okay sorry and payable to the university bank account as it is required to be covered in advance not later than one week before the entry test so you need to make sure you pay this money into the uh, bank account not later than one week before your exam date guys so follow the rules everything is set for you everything is clear like it's crystal clear what they want you to do so you don't it's not like it's not rocket science trust me i'm trying to motivate you guys to apply by yourself because you can save yourself so much money so much money than going with an agency i'm not bashing any agency because i've uh, um, I've gone through an agency but I know that it's very difficult especially for people that are coming from uh, from Africa and everything and from other parts of the world you you may you may not have the best financial situation and if you you can save trust me try to save as much as you can and then the last thing that they have here is applicants who fail the preliminary entry test in English biology and chemistry who get a low pass or simply are not satisfied with the obtain entry test results would have the chance upon their written request sent to the office of admissions to receive once the entry test during to receive once the entry test during the announced regular test date if you failed your entry test do not get beaten do not give up you still have one chance to receive that test and then get the required grades all depends on how people perform that year if that year if for example in 2024 people get 90 percent the cut off mark for the admission is going to be 90 percent and let's say you got 89 percent they're not going to take you that means you need to retake the test again once you have 90 percent they will take you okay so do not be bumped if you have to do the test twice i did the test twice guys okay i did the test twice even though i was in university okay so do not be bumped do not give up just because you failed the exam once keep pushing if this is really your calling if this is really what you want to do you need to put in the work sometimes it's not going to go your way so that's why i'm saying like keep pushing guys okay administrative fee for each retake test amounts to 100 euros beware you need to pay for this entry test it's not going to be free so when you want to retake it again you need to pay 100 euros okay and you pay that to the uh, university bank account again make sure it's before your entry test date and then uh, the last important information they have here is only applicants who have submitted the whole set of the required paper supporting uh, application documents legalized and translated into Bulgarian language as per our requirements would be included in the final rankings of the applicants for further information please refer to application document okay guys so I think that's everything for today's video and we're gonna come for part three which is going to be on application process and documents okay and then maybe that uh, we're gonna also cover the application deadline then so that it's just going to be three videos I am not adding anything new in what I am saying to you here everything is on the website step by step I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and then you know just uh keep a lookout for the next part of this video for the final part thank you so much guys for watching today's video i'll catch you in the next part of the video and yeah bye